there's a lot going on in the summer, uh, no doubt about it. And people kind of, listen, summer is meant to be fun. We want to have fun during the summer, right? Winter's right. tough, but you got to be careful during the summer. Number one on the list is Lyme disease, okay? And this is very important. Uh, Lyme disease is a disease that is very difficult to diagnose sometimes. Um, it can be very serious. Um, you know, it's, a, it's transmitted via a tick bite. And so let's go through what, how this I just want to say, tick bites are very serious. Yeah, so first of all, there are several hundred species of ticks that are there. And so not every tick is going to actually be Lyme disease, okay? I want to show you a map from the CDC. When we talk about Lyme disease and ticks... This is the density yes, of this is, the right. concentration. So we've always talked about the northeast, heavily wooded area, a lot of grass. But we're also seeing more cases up in the upper Midwest. Uh, I live uh, around Lake Michigan, so there's a lot there. And the idea is very simple. Over the last, let's say, 25, 30 years, mm -hmm. they've seen a 300% increase in, in well-known counties of, of Lyme disease. So this is really you know, serious, and it's, and it's getting bad. And so people need to know that every state, by the way, has ticks. And that not all these ticks are Lyme disease, but they're different types of diseases. Now, let's talk about why this thing happens, OK? So what happens is... You don't have to be in the deep forest. Like, no, my friend got no. his just in tall grass. He was in Long Island walking to a boat. One of my best right. friends growing up, her mother was a golfer, mm -hmm. and she got very bad Lyme disease, had those symptoms. On a golf course. Absolutely. Right. So let's talk about how this thing actually happens. So the tick is the carrier of this bacterium. This bacterium is called Bordelia burgdorferi, OK? This is the black-legged tick, also known as the deer tick. Mm -hmm. The deer tick is the host. So what happens is the deer tick is carrying this bacterium. The, uh, sorry, the deer is carrying the bacterium in their bloodstream. The tick goes and bites the deer and ingests that pathogen or that, that bacterium inside of the tick. Now, the tick is okay with it. The tick can live with it. But the tick goes onto on a blade of grass or in the woods it or hops leaves. Hops onto you, exactly. And it's waiting. You're walking by right. and it hops onto you. And then if you're wearing long, leg, long clothes, um, sleeves or pants, or if you have uh, open exposed areas like this that you see here, roll the tape, the tick is looking for a place to, to nest where it can actually burrow into your skin. Oh. Because the tick lives on blood. That's how it lives. No blood, it dies. So it goes into your skin, it attaches. While it's taking its blood meal... It's giving you the It's bacteria. giving you that bacteria, right. which causes Lyme disease, OK? So when it comes to animals, to dogs and cats, yes. we put a treatment on their backs, and it keeps them safe. And the tick, if it bites it, it dies. And it, How come we don't have that for humans? Well, first of all, <laughs> that's a good question. Oh, no, sincerely, yes. I, I want to know why I can't protect myself and my husband and my mom yeah. the same way I protect my dog. Absolutely. Well, first of all, they're working on a vaccine for Lyme disease, so they're okay. in good stage with that. But as far as getting something that will actually kill the tick on skin, it's a fine line between killing the tick and also causing harm to you. So you have to find that balance of what will do harm here but not do harm to you, so they're working on that. But there are some things like using skin repellent. So bug repellent is very important if you're going out in a wooded area or a grassy area. The other thing is wear long clothes. You have to wear long clothes. My mom always says to me, because I have a place in the woods, Ian, Make sure you're wearing long, long yeah, pants, mom, I got it, high I got socks, it. Right. the whole thing. Okay. And why should we be afraid of Lyme disease? Well, Lyme disease can lead to, you can, by the way, the treatment can, is very effective for a lot of people. But if you don't treat it or you're too late, it can cause all kinds of things, including encephalopathy, which means you, it can cause brain problems, uh, you know, sluggishness, nerve problems. It can cause joint, long-term joint. My friend had joint problems for the longest time. Right. So you just got to be careful with it.